Hello, hello everyone, Phoenix61 here with some World of Warships Legends. We are back, guys and gals. So there are some new missions that popped up this week that I want to just call out because it's a little confusing at first. You do not have to have, you know, you do not have to have gotten early access um, to the Pan-European Destroyer line, right, to, in order to complete them. But So if you're trying to work your way through the collection series, you can see I've got a whole bunch already unlocked, and you need to get... There's three different rewards here, so each row gives you a reward, whether it be a Commander Creator, Commander Commendation, like, you know, whatever. Um, so you can see just perfectly I'm missing one from each row right now. I do have a few to unlock here, so I'm going to go ahead and open these collections crates, right? And we'll see if we get any of the ones that we need. Um, so we got five. So you can't tell which ones they are here, but you, so what you do is you go back into the collections, um, you know, tab or menu, whatever you want to call it here, right? And then you'll be able to see. So I didn't get any of the ones that I needed, but because we've got duplicates, you can use two duplicates to basically unlock any of the ones that you don't have. So we got enough duplicates now to be able to unlock all three of these. So we'll just go ahead and do that. So you're saying purchase, right? You're just using your your duplicate and then now you can flip it over so that's what it would look like if you actually got that particular card right and then you'd be able to just flip it over instead of having to purchase it <clears throat> and then yeah so this row is commander crate and then the first row is an insignia and then i think we got a universal commendation from the third row and then once you do all three you do get a premium tier two destroyer which this this origin that just popped up at the top right i'll take a quick peek at that too um, but like I said, nothing crazy from that, right? It's tier two. It's not a big deal. Uh, but these are the missions, right? So I actually, I only have one of the early access ships, but you can scroll up and down on each of these um, like mission sections. So, you know, if you don't have the new tier four, right, you can scroll down and it'll let you do that same mission for either the tier three or the tier four you know, the previous tech tree that's already available, right? So you would do for that first section, you'd use the class horn or the Visby, right? And then I think it's just like, if you, you know, it's the, the mission is like slightly harder, right? These are like cause damage. And so, right, if, and you just have to do like a little bit more damage, right? right than what if, if you had the early access ship. So not a big deal, but this way you can go in and get the rest of these um, collections crates if you need them, right? So I actually do have the stored, so I was playing as that, but if you don't, you would use the tier five or six from the regular tech tree, and you would need to set 20 fires instead of 10, right? So it's not a, you know, it's not a big deal. You just have to play a little bit more, right? So if you need those, if you're really going for those, and it's not, you know, if you think about it, like the rewards are meh, right? So if you're like getting frustrated playing a bunch of games, like don't feel like you just absolutely have to get it because this is the reward, right? It's a tier two uh, pan European, yeah, pan European destroyer. It does have, um, it does have eight kilometer range torpedoes, two launchers of three, which is pretty, that's pretty hefty at tier two, I would say. Um, so like, that's kind of nice, but I mean, you're not, you know, it, you, it's, you know, you're not going to just go and wipe everybody out with those, right? Like it's still, yeah. You know, 30 second reload. Like that's cool. Right. Like, yeah. Like, but, um, yeah, it's nothing, nothing crazy. Like I said, tier two, no big deal. Right. So I scroll through the stats for that really quick. And then here's the overview of it. And then I do have a game to show you too, at, at, um, with the store that I played earlier this morning. So, um, I just jumped right into it here, right? We're in the zone trying to get the cap. And I think I was still working through trying to like set fires, right? So I was being, I don't know, kind of a, like a, probably a little too aggressive, a little too, a little too, um, you know, negligent with my health pool in this game. <laughs> Because I was like literally just like let's try and get some fire start and I like got was getting frustrated because I wasn't really setting fires and I need to set 10 to unlock that you know that next mission that I was working on there right so send torpedoes towards the Pensacola and of course that destroyer that somebody else managed managed to kill there as well and then go case up here he's got long-range torpedoes typically we'll send our torpedoes at the Mutsu. We'll take advantage of our smoke screen as long as we can here as well. See if we can't get fires on the Mutsu, right? But yeah, we're capping the zone. We're up to 17, 18,000 damage now at this point in the game. Um, just kind of getting things going. This, yeah, this one started off like kind of slow, 
Um, but it gets a little intense later here. Yep, those are, so those torpedoes off to my right are probably from the Gokei, so we should be good then. So it's nice to have that cruiser out front, even though he's probably going to get whooped pretty soon here. The Mutsu is not going to be nice to him. And our torpedoes died out before they got there, since the Mutsu is backing up now. We'll try and solidify this cap before we move on here. We do have our smoke screen's going to run out before the, we get the capture here. Keeps getting somewhat reset from people hitting the cruiser, right? So we have to wait in it just a little bit longer here. It's actually not taking too much damage. That's kind of nice. He's angling appropriately, at least. All right, Utsu's still backing up. Let's go around and maybe we can challenge zone B. Getting picked up by the planes, that's fine. 27,000 damage. Just from guns so far, but still no fires. <laughs> it's always so tempting to shoot, so we're not spotted anymore, so maybe we'd send some torpedoes. Looked like he was going to turn to the right here, so we fired a little bit further, or to the left, you know, our left. Um, stage left. <laughs> <laughs> so we, t we fired torpedoes, we let him that way a little bit, but I think he ends up turning back into the right. And then he just fired his guns at somebody else in the other direction, so we'll take the risk of getting spotted and open up and get a couple of cheap shots as we go behind this mountain here. The enemy team has taken the lead. We're going to need these torpedo hits here to get something done. So as you can see, we are significantly outnumbered at this point, right? Four on uh, seven now at this point. Alright, carrier finished off the cruiser, so that's big for us since we're in a destroyer here. But yeah, it was like, alright, losing game. I'm really here to just set fires, right? Like, you know, I'm trying to do those missions. Like, let's let's pick on this Mutsu for a little bit here. Engine boost activated. Plus, he's paying attention to somebody else, so it's like we might as well take advantage of that. Getting all sorts of incapacitations, but no fires. <laughs> <laughs> it's like super frustrated. Are they doing like decent damage too for you know being a tier five shooting HE at the <laughs> battleship? He's got his rear guns pointed this way, so he'll probably take a shot at us. So we're angling in as best we can. We're getting plenty of defense here. And then I was kind of thinking he'd run a like he might run into the land there. But yeah, this is what I was saying. I was being like, kind of like, not caring too much about my health pool, and I like regret all my life decisions here. There we go with the fire, because it's just like, all right, like we're, you know, the the momentum has definitely gone in favor of the um, enemy team here. But we managed to get that defend it, that defend that zone, and then, you know, kill, you know, finish off that battleship. I'm like, all right, well, like let's just do the work here. Let's go towards. Um, Let's go towards B, see if we can cap that. We'll probably have to deal with this cruiser who has like full health, right? <laughs> I'll play the game. I'll play the game. Gave me a little bit of motivation there. Like we're at 45 grand for damage dealt. Zone capped. One kill. Just keep an eye on the ship count. So I was a little like, I, I should have started firing at this Surov too. Like this is one of those games like hindsight's 2020, right? Like <laughs> just, I should have opened up on him right away. But I was a little nervous that this cruiser was going to be coming around the corner here. But he ends up going in towards the middle of the map and just kind of letting us have this zone. So I'm like, all right, let's see if we can get some fires going on this Surov. And then we can work on capping the zone. And so this is the Soviet um, carrier, right? So they have the skip bombs, right? So you actually do want to point in towards his plane. So that's why we're angling. We're watching his plane. So complete miss there, you know, right? We're a small target. You know, if we were broadside, he might have been able to get some hits on us, right? But those are tough to hit uh, destroyers with now, especially since you have to, the bombs have to skip. You can't just drop them directly on a ship anymore. You used to be able to do that. Um, and they changed the mechanics, so they won't arm unless they've skipped at least once now. Alright, so I'm going to move in, and then we're going to make sure we get this cap. You notice we're located, so somebody's probably close to us, potentially 
you know, most likely that's a destroyer. That's usually the case, but you can have that. Um, it's a commander perk, right, where they can see what direction you are, basically, and you're the nearest ship to them. I'm always skeptical of it because um, I'm like, well, it gives me information too, right? So, so we're going to peek our head around this corner, and I wasn't expecting, you know, I was kind of for sure knew that that um, cruiser was back there, but yeah, then here's this, this Anshin, right? So I'm going to fire torps at the Nuremberg and then torps, you know, tor torps at the destroyer, and then also I sent the second set at the uh, cruiser back there, right? So hopefully we get a hit there. And then that just worked out really, really great for us, right? Like, he was in a narrow passageway, so we had a huge advantage there. Like, we kind of really... <laughs> and then we were broadside, able to dump our torps, whereas he was heading right for us. So, we'll get some cheap shots here on the Nuremberg. Again, I was just kind of like, well, if we get some fires out of this, it'll be worth the game, right? But I still am only at one fire after 71,000 damage now. <laughs> All right, we'll cap this zone, I guess. And now it's down to one on three, right? This is one where I was like, ah, oh, man, just like one more ship, right? Like, and we could go for solo warrior because I was like, oh, uh, and then also like my health pool. I was like, why was I so, why was I so, <laughs> I was so negligent with my health pool earlier in the game? Um, but yeah, like <laughs> I had my reasons. I was like already like having negative feelings about the game we're like i was like this, we're gonna lose this screw it just start shooting right <laughs> and then it works out i'm like dang it <laughs> but who knows right so we know this cruiser is most likely going to come around this corner here we still have an engine boost we still have a smoke screen so i'm going to send one rack just as kind of a guess and an assumption that he's coming around and then if he picks us up we'll use our smoke and then hopefully we are within range of him firing and still being spotted through the smoke. And looks like we are. And we do get a lucky torpedo hit there. And so we're gonna kinda just take a guess here with the second rack. And then I'm gonna slam the brakes here. Hopefully we can finish him off with either torpedoes or guns. He's got a good chunk left for us to do work with guns. Unless we get a fire, there it is, needed that. All right, but I'm going to have to start moving. We're going to have to... Um, all right, so we got the... Those are probably from the planes because the A cap is getting captured right now. So that means their destroyer has got to be over at the A cap. And then, yeah, so we're going to have to really try and make work on this carrier while we head towards the C cap. So it went full circle, made a full loop around the entire map and captured every zone. <laughs> I think we started with C, right? So turned in towards the dive bombers, right? The skip bombers. Looks like Seraph's actually coming this way, so that's nice. I'm gonna guess he's going, he's changing direction though now that he sees us, right? And we're shooting him. And then I'm looking at the A cap on the mini map, right? It's about to get captured here, so we know that that destroyer is most likely going to come and challenge us at some point. And I was like, man, if I just had a tiny bit more health, right? <laughs> Tier 5 destroyer, right, with 90,000 damage dealt here. Um, so I'm going to try and get as many bullets off on this guy as we can here while he's in between uh, bombing runs. And I'm actually going to send torpedoes towards the A cap just as a hopeful, lucky guess to try and get that destroyer right like we're not in range to shoot torps at the carrier so i'm gonna send some torpedoes this way just in hopes that that uh destroyer runs into those right but yeah since the serov's moving away our seven and a half kilometer range torpedoes are never gonna make it to him and then i like just know like i should have seen that right i saw him pop up first but still sent the torpedoes the other way, so it's like all my all my thoughts and feelings about how I lost this game. Right? I mean, we you know, it's still possible. We could still win, right? We could still win. <laughs> but like, this would have just been brutal, right? So we got this gun battle going with him, and I'm trying to keep an eye on the mini-map for the... Um, yeah, we popped Confederate there, too. Um, trying to keep an eye on the mini-map for the next um, airplane bombing run, right? And then I'm slowing down, speeding up, ducking and weaving as much as I, my little ship will allow me to while I try and get bullets off on the, <laughs> and, on the destroyer. We managed to finish off the destroyer, but then take the hit from the, uh, the carrier, right? So I took a look at the leaderboard, and I was like, man, like this would have been 
just you know 104,000 damage here with this loss four kills three zone caps right 2600 xp on the losing team so that would have been a pretty epic score um if we would have gotten the win there with the uh, win bonus that you get right <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, 376,000 silvers we get from that one, right? I'll go through how I have the build for this ship outright. So this is an early access one. So if you get any of those early access crates, right, this is how you would unlock the stored. Um, it's just by pure chance, right? So, yeah, you don't get um, propulsion mod, right? So that's always my choice for those, like, second or third slots, wherever that is. And then I am using Jersey Swirsky, right? So... Built a little bit more into the guns here for this one, right? Um, as we could. Main battery reload here. I went mortar here, right? D HE shell damage plus 13%, like that's pretty big, right? But you take that concealment shot, right? Yeah, where you lose that. And then I've got the smoke on the water, right? So. And then, of course, I'm unstoppable for my legendary perk, and that is going to be our stored video for the day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, but, yeah, that's also how you get the, um, you know, some more of those collections cards, right, for if you're trying to progress through there. But, yeah, like I said, the Tier 2 premium ship is, <laughs> like, it's fine. It's great if you need a Tier 2, right? But there it is. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video all the way through. Make sure you are following the channel. Please do subscribe. That really does help me out a lot. We do Legends videos pretty much every day, so we'll see you guys tomorrow.